In this video, I'm going to be walking you through the new changes that have come up within Meta Ads and why that's important for you to know about. But also, I'm going to take you through a process of setting up a follower campaign. So if you're anyone who has ever wanted to build or grow a following online on your Instagram or Facebook, then this will probably be of good use to you. The reasons you might want to grow a following I think are obvious, but we'll go through them anyway. To have more people who are aware of what you do is a good thing, right? So more people are interested in what you have to say or offer means that there'll be more opportunity. That being said, like growing a following can also uh, equate to status and authority. You know, whether we like it or not, people see it and they put trust in that, right? Doesn't necessarily mean they've got a successful business though. It just means that they've built a following. Now, I'm more of a fan of can you build a following that is engaged and relevant for you and your business, right? Your people. That's the key. Not building a following just for the sake of it. Although, you know, you could argue that building a following for the sake of it could equate to more opportunities, but not like customer opportunities, more opportunities to open doors maybe. So we could see it that way. So in this, I want to go through... Um, doing that setting up the process so i can show you how it works but also we've seen some changes recently in terms of how meta are delivering the creative for ads and you might have noticed this and i believe this comes down to people getting annoyed by advertising so it being too prevalent on the platforms and it putting off the user experience and i noticed this recently that they've started to make it more natural and feel more integrated into the app so people's adverts are feeling like they're not adverts anymore that they are just something that you if you're scrolling or swiping you're like oh it's an advert i didn't realize that which is a good thing for you because if you're aware of it you can start to craft your creative for ads to fit into that and it makes it easier for you because gone in the days now of you having to have like a really amazing setup to start getting into this stuff you can pick your phone up and film yourself talking because it will feel like you're talking to yourself on a story upload this as part of the creative for this right so that's how easy it is it doesn't have to be complicated and the barrier to get started with it is a lot lower so i want to go through that okay so let's just go into uh here and i will pull this up so in here this is the ads manager uh, level we're going to go into create like we normally would and then we're going to click on traffic because that's the one that's going to drive people towards your profile right so that's what we want going to continue you'll then get a little pop-up which will say do you want to go recommended settings or manual traffic now the recommended settings will make it quicker for you to set this up that being said I want to show you how you can use this for uh, people who are at certain stages so if you're newer in terms of your account and you haven't got as many followers then I'm going to show you an ad set for that if you are someone who's a bit more established but you still haven't got the following you want then i'll show you an example for that and i'm going to show you someone who's got you know more than six seven thousand followers what i would do for that in terms of targeting so with that in mind i'm going to choose the manual one so i've got more control on it so once we go through that this is where we'll come up to it so we're going to put your um name your campaign follower campaign i might put in here may 25 so don't forget and then the rest of this stays pretty much the same part from the budget we'll leave that so we need to know that we're going to do it daily i'm not going to go into budgeting on this i'm just going to say that um, i'm going to leave it there for now and you can figure out budget for your budget yourself um the new traffic ad set here so this is going to be the ad set level that we're going to so what i want to do is come to the conversion side and in here we're going to click instagram or facebook because that's where we want to send people right we're doing this for following, so that's where we need to drive traffic to. And the performance goal is maximize the number of Instagram profile visits. Okay, I'm just going to choose Instagram. You could do both on here. Um, if you want to grow both, then let's do it. But for me, I'm just going to choose the Instagram profile for now. Uh, and then from there, we're just going to go down. You've got budget, schedule, audience controls. The audience controls here is where you're going to set like the location, for example. Now, <coughs> with this in mind, you can come in here and obviously, depending on where you are, we can go into here and we can type in the locations that you want to search for. So I might do the United States as well. Um, this all depends on what your business is, right? So if you're a location-based business like a gym or studio, you might just want to target a local area. So 10 mile radius, for example. If that is the case, then starting to think about um, the, the audience that you want to target within that radius 
is really important for what you want to know next because if you are uh, for example wanting to run like lookalike audience targeting which i'll show you later on then having the smaller area location means that you would do something different within the lookalike audience which we'll come on to however if you just wanted to do this then i would think about the areas that you can cover or have the same language as you and then go from there um, something else to consider in this is uh, depending on where you market there is a difference in terms of how much it costs to acquire a follower in different countries because of different countries um, the way that advertising is run in those countries might be more expensive or less expensive so to acquire a customer in the UK or the US might be a slightly more than what it would acquire a customer in say Asia in India for example but if you wanted to grow a following you might be able to grow a bigger following quicker by targeting those countries because it's less to acquire a follower but it doesn't then mean that that follower is going to then do anything else so you've got to weigh this up right so i'm going to leave it as that for now and then advantage plus here i'm going to click on that for this one and then what i'm going to do is come in here and you've got age gender detail targeting now for this uh, ad set i'm going to keep it quite open so i want to do real open target in here and that is using meta and the data they've got already because they're going to be using my profile and the followers that are already there to find more people similar to that they have all of the data to be able to do that because we can use advantage plus right <clears throat> i'm probably going to leave this all as it is we might not even change the age range just keep it as it is you can go into here and check out the placements if you want um but to be fair like they all should be on instagram uh yeah so instagram i might take facebook off so we've just got instagram that's what we want yeah so just on instagram you can get really uh sort of specific in here if you want but i would leave them as they are right so that's where you can see stuff and then the next thing is you're going to go into your traffic ad here and this is where you set up whatever that ad is so it's going to be video one for example so you can create an ad and that's what you can use an existing post this is what i was talking about earlier so if you use an existing post it might not be set up exactly right for this campaign because it might not do the job of getting people to follow now what would be a better approach is if you were to create a short video that actually said exactly what you want them to do so hey it's dan here from strong collective i help coaches set up uh, fitness businesses uh, from an ethical standpoint and build businesses in a way that makes them feel good and uh, doesn't mean that they'd have to send 50 dms a day or sell themselves to social media um, you would make it a much more streamlined than that but that was just on the top of my head something like that could be quite quick short impactful and the cool thing is like we said before you could do quite a few versions of that like here i could do it i could be walking around doing it i could be in a different location that way you can test this stuff really quick and like i said just pick the phone up record it upload because that way you've got you've got this set up really quick and it's also going to blend into the rest of the uh, background there that we talked about so you go into setup creative going to go to video add find the video that you want to add in um, i'm just going to do this one for now and then from here you put your primary text now your primary text is going to be um, geared around uh, what it is you want them to do here so similar to what i said in the uh the video we're going to be using a primary text that is going to basically get people to understand what it is you do quickly uh, detail the audience that you serve and then from there go right the next thing is click click on the profile check out the page hit follow that's what it needs to be telling people exactly what it is because this is going to come up on it anyway um, we have frameworks for this within the mentoring that we use so uh, I will I won't put anything in there now because we've got it all in our mentoring so what I'm going to do for now is just put test um, copy uh, text right and then go next why is it there so then we've got missing an ad let's change that sometimes you get this glitch oh it's gone now sometimes um ads manager is very glitchy right so if you ever get that and you get a warning sign somewhere <clears throat> you can refresh it and it should go 
if it's still there then you probably need to look into it right but that's gone so from there we've got visit the profile we can see what it looks like on here um like i, like I say or we'll change that and optimize it and then the rest of it can stay pretty much as it is now that is done super quick right in no time you've got open targeting on there the next thing if you want to go and test so that's something i would use if you already have a following right if you already got a following then that's probably the best approach for you to do if you go into here and duplicate this what we can do now is show you an example of what you might want to do if you just have um, sort of more than two three hundred followers but you want to build a little bit more so i'm going to go into interests oh, diets not diets man so we've got the same ad that we just set up on there but when we get to here we're going to go back into these let me just turn these off uh, and then we're going to come into here and just click into interest so for me it's going to be like coach um, maybe live coaching coaching and mentoring uh, uh, fitness professional personal training so you can see right we can go through and you can browse as well so this like i say would be good if you've got a little bit of an idea of obviously who your audience are <clears throat> and then you can come in here and, and start to get into the real target inside of things um and again you're using the same ad to basically get this in front of people now there's no reason why you couldn't test both of these ad sets right because you can test and then run churn off the ones that don't perform and you've got it from there now if you were someone who was kind of fairly new to this or you've got a smaller following but you've still got a following there of say I don't know, 100 200 people and you want to find more people right so if you know that that following is made up of majority of people that you want to serve the next step is finding more people like that so we would use something called a lookalike so if i come into here and i just duplicate this again and then this is going to open up another ad set and this is where we're going to do the lookalike right so i'm going to name this one now so i don't forget everything else stays the same come down to here to the audience part and then what we're going to do um we can delete these or exclude them so it's fine i'm going to take them out i'm going to come into here and create new custom audience now again like i say if you've got a smaller account you're going to go into your instagram you're going to obviously select your account on here and you're going to go to everyone who has followed this account so then you'll call it IG follow followers create that audience and then you're going to create a lookalike audience of this so come in here create a lookalike audience now if it works right what this does is going to open up here so you've got United Kingdom what we could do, like I say, is search for United States as well if I wanted to, because we might have some people there. The thing here to remember is you need to have at least 100 people from the country to be able to build a lookalike audience. So if you haven't, it will flag up, right? Now, this percentage here means that we're looking at a percentage, 1% of the people, total people, who have got Facebook or Instagram, right? So that's 3.3 million. Um, if you like we said before have a location based business like a gym or a studio and you're wanting to do a smaller radius you're going to want to capture more of that radius right so you'll probably want to bring this up to like 9 or 10 because you want to make sure everyone sees this stuff however in this instance if I bring this up to like 10 all of a sudden it's 33.1 million and it's quite a big audience for the budget for example it might not stretch as much and I'm probably going to take ages to reach that amount of people so rather than do that 3.3 million is enough okay so what we can do from here is create the audience and it will so the audience got so we need 100 people so i haven't got 100 people in the states it feels like so i'm going to delete that and i'm going to use the uk now in the uk we need uh so one percent i could go up to two percent and have 1.1 so i'm probably going to just keep it at that so let's do two percent on here create audience and that's it that's your lookalike audience on there so i've done that at two percent let me just put that in cool and that's if you had a fairly small following on there i would just go with that to start with and like i say you can run these together you could run all these if you wanted to and then see which ones run best and then go from there so 
ultimately we're looking for um, testing this stuff out it's the biggest thing that testing is a huge part of running ads but if you can get to a stage where um, like I say you're able to build a following off just spending five five ten pound a day and you start to see those followers come in the next step off this is having a process for what happens after that so then have a process for okay if people are following the account what do you want to do then so those people ideally and if you're a nice person and you'd be reaching out to them and saying hey uh great for you to have you here you might ask a question at that point so within the mentoring we have a step-by-step -step process that takes people through a flow to be able to then have conversations with new people coming to the page and ultimately all we're looking for there is a touch point we're looking for someone to uh engage and open up and touch point and then that they will see more of your content in general that helps engagement and then that cycle repeats right so i think people forget that when you've got a following they're not there just to buy your stuff they're there to engage in your content to make your content more valuable to create this feeling and sense of community around what you do in your platform right and that helps overall in terms of the message that you put out there and getting it to more people so you're thinking about that rather than seeing your social media page as this thing that should give you clients see it as a platform for you to engage and nurture and build trust and connection with and you'll get way more from it rather than seeing it as this this thing that must give me clients it's not that at all okay this as a tool will help you to take people and find new people and bring new people into your world who are those people who uh, re you resonate with and they resonate with you and the thing that we're trying to get to here the ultimate thing is are we getting to the truth of is it a good fit for you and for them and then when someone sees that and they're in that position to go yes it is that's when stuff happens okay can't shortcut that process all right um, so yeah hope you found this useful please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or thoughts or insights on it and i will see you in the next one